What if Deku joined Team JPDE? Chapter 60 Long Memory Sunday Day 154 Ozpin was boarding the bullhead to head into Vale to meet with Janera. Shortly after Ozpin boarded the bullhead, it took off. He's gone. I repeat, he's gone. Ozpin has left Beacon David said. Perfect. Partner, I want you to hurry up to the main hall of Beacon as soon as Bella arrives on the return bullhead. This is it, everyone. We're saving Amber Jack said. Janera was waiting in Vale for Ozpin to arrive. Your early Janera said. Not really, it's just the bullhead arrived a few minutes early. Is that a problem Ozpin asked? Not really. Just wasn't really paying attention to the station. You surprised me Janera said. I see. So, what are we doing Ozpin asked. Huh. You're asking me. Didn't you want to talk Janera asked. Well, yes, but um. I didn't mean it as an interrogation, or questioning. I meant it in an informal way Ozpin said. Bella's bullhead has just left the station Thilla said. And our little agent of distraction has engaged Ozpin, who looks evil in said. Surprisingly. Like a fish out of water Titania said. So you want to. Hang out or something Janera asked. I guess that would be one way to put it, yes Ozpin said. All right, then. I can show you my favorite places while we walk Janera said. Janera then walked off. Um, could you please slow down? I haven't been in Main Street in a while and, I don't know Ozpin said. Oh, for the love of. Janera already veered off the path we rehearsed Titania said. We didn't expect Ozpin to want to. Hang out. Wouldn't have suited our needs, anyway Thilla said. We're in pursuit. Good luck, Beacon Team Evelyn said. Meanwhile in Beacon's mess hall. So. Why are we in the mess hall, again Glinda asked. Because I refuse to keep you in your office on such a nice day and this is the closest thing the school has to a bar with seats in the open. And come on, seeing a more informal side to you won't make the students fear you any less, I assure you. But it may make you appear as human to their eyes Peach said. What would I do without you, Violet Glinda asked. Be a vampire, most probably you're already outfitted for it Peach said. What's wrong with my clothes Glinda asked. Well. The small cape, to start with Peach said. I'll have you know Glinda said. Professor Peach is successfully distracting Miss Goodwitch. I have no doubt she'll be able to keep her occupied for a positively long time Penny said. Then that leaves just waiting for Bella to get here. David, how's the bullhead Deku asked. On schedule. It'll be here in 30 minutes David said. Back in Vale. Thanks, Mr. And thanks for buying, Mr. Ospin Janera said. Think nothing of it. So, you like. Crepes Ospin asked. And ice cream and caramel apples. Pretty much all sweets. Not that the rest of human food isn't great but. I like the sweets Janera said. Human food. So you don't consider yourself human Ozpin asked. Should I? I don't even look like a normal human, and even for Faunus I'm. Out there. And that's without getting into the fact that I was created, not born Janera said. Created. By who Ozpin asked. I don't really know. It's this flame guy, who calls himself a boss. David and the others told you about him, no Janera asked. They did and. I'm sorry to admit that I have no knowledge of such a being Ozpin said. It's fine. Still, the guy is confusing Janera said. They are moving. Come on Evelyn said. Why go through the trouble of making me, only to try to kill me afterwards Janera questioned. Try to what Ospin exclaimed. Hey, volume. We're in the middle of the streets Janera said. I'm sorry, it's just. He. Tried to kill you Ospin asked. 
Well, not him personally. Anyway, her failed. Aizuku and the others saved me Janara said. I see. Still, to try and kill a child is. It's unforgivable Ospin said. Why do you care Janara asked. Excuse me Ospin asked. They told me about the Grim. I'm sure there are kids out there, even right now. Why do you care about me this much Janara asked. It's because. You remind me of. Some people Ospin said. You mean. More than one Janara asked. Yes. I when I heard about you, I thought. I mean, you definitely have some kind of tie to at least one of them. You look too much alike. Involuntary, I guess, but. It's there. And I needed to meet you Ospin said. I see. Want some of my crap Janara asked. Um. Sure Ospin said. Back at Beacon. Jack, Penny, Deku, David and Bella had entered Ospin's office. The headmaster really likes his gears. Or clocks, I guess Bella said. But am I glad he doesn't like cameras David said. No surprise there. Someone used to being so secretive certainly wouldn't trust a 24-7 feed tapped into the Veil network. Anyway, Penny, you're up. Hack in that elevator and let's get down Jack said. Affirmative. Grant me 274 seconds Penny said. Um. How many minutes is that Bella asked. About four and a half minutes. Anyway, are you ready Bella? Once we're down there we'll be counting on you Deku said. And sorry for putting more pressure on you but to allow you to touch Amber, we're gonna need to open the machine. Which is the only thing currently keeping her alive Jack said. I know. It's part of the reason why I needed this much aura, and a backup supply. Before actually healing her, I will need to overcome the rapid degradation of her aura structure, Stabilis Herbella said. How long is it going to take David asked. A few minutes. This isn't like repairing a broken bone. Doing it too fast could send her body into shock Bella said. That's fine. You'll have all the time you'll need. We'll make sure of it Jack said. Back in Vale. Did you like it Janara asked. I'm not the biggest fan of sweets. But this crepe, as they call it, was good Ospin said. As they call it. You mean you've never had one before Janara asked. As I said. Not the biggest fan of sweets. Also, I don't really go out much Ospin said. How? How can you not like sweets? Your weird Janara said. Oh, it's just that most sweets are a bit too rich for my tastes. I prefer simpler recipes Ospin said. Like Janara asked. Shaved ice Ospin said. Shaved. Ice Janara questioned. Have you ever tried it Ospin asked. Um, no. No, I don't think I have Janara said. Would you like to Ospin asked. I'm starting to wonder if we were ever needed Thilla said. I know, right. It's a bit awkward but Titania said. I've never seen Ospin act this way towards anyone Evelyn said. Oh wow. It's so cold. And so big Janara said. It's quite the generous portion, yes Ospin said. So this is just. Ice Janara asked. Yes. As I said, I prefer simpler sweets Ospin said. I guess you can't get any simpler than ice. But the syrups look so yummy Janara said. Glad they do. Now, be sure to not eat too big of a spoonful at a time or you might Ospin said. Bound appetite Janara said. Janara then took a huge spoonful and felt a sharp pain in her head soon after. Yeah. What was that? That felt so weird Janara said. A long memory then came back to Ospin. Goodness, Ounce. Why didn't you warn me about that? Ow 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 Salem said. I was trying to Ospin said. That was. Brain freeze Ospin said. Brain freeze. 
Sounds funny Janara said. It happens when you eat something cold too fast Ospin said. Okay, my fault. But you were right, you know Janara said. Whilst looking at Janara eating shaved ice, a memory of Salem eating shaved ice came back. There was no difference between them in that moment, except for age. Shaved ice is good Janara said. You weren't kidding. It's so tasty but it's just. Ice and fruit syrup Salem said. I'm. I'm glad you like it. Just. Eat slowly and don't eat too much of it, alright. It's easy to get a stomach ache Ospin said. Okay Janara said. Fine Salem said. Dear Salem said. What is it Ospin asked? You think the baby will like it too Salem asked. Back at Beacon, the infiltration team had hacked the elevator and were now in the vault. We're here. The machine is at the end of this corridor Deku said. This place. It's much older than the school Penny said. Let's hurry Bella said. The team quickly made their way to the end of the corridor. Oh, Amber David said. We've made it, partner. We're here Jack said. Bella. Please, I David said. Leave it to me, David. I swear I'll save her Bella said. Everyone, I'm going to operate the machine now. Bella, the moment that you will open her vitals will start fluctuating. I need you to be prepared Penny said. I came prepared, Penny Bella said. Bella then charged her aura. Pop her open Bella said. In the lab ship. He never forgave me for that. Not that I blame him Enrico said. Of all the. So that's why you and Professor Helheim never Ironwood said. An alarm then went off. This. This alarm Ironwood said. James. What's wrong Enrico asked. Enrico. I've got to. Actually, no. You need to follow me Ironwood said. Excuse me. James, what is Enrico asked? There's no time to explain. Grab your tools and meet me at the shuttles, we need to go to Beacon's Tower Ironwood yelled. Ironwood then left the lab. Penny, you have triggered some kind of alarm. James has just ran out of my lab after asking for my assistance. I have no doubt he knows you've touched the machine. You need to be done and get out of there as soon as possible. Ironwood is coming Enrico texted. Oh. Oh no. We've been discovered Penny said. We what Jack asked. Papa sent me a message. General Ironwood is coming here. We have minutes Penny said. Son of Abella, how much longer do you need David asked. Few. Few more minutes. And we can't interrupt Bella said. And we won't Jack said. In the mess hall. So that's the story behind your cape Peach said. It's not much of a story, really. I just liked the idea. Anyway, speaking of ideas. About Mr. D.I.K. Begis and Mr. Midori R. Violet Glinda said. David and Ijuku. What about them Peach asked. There's a way for them to not be expelled Glinda said. The goddess of loopholes. What's on your mind Peach asked. It will be. Difficult, to say the least. But that's not something Team Jaddy is unfamiliar with by now, is it? Also, they'll have your direct help Glinda said. Ospin wants to use their half a year of missing credits against them, right? How exactly can I help with that Peach asked. Indeed. As the headmaster, he can decide whether to consider mitigating circumstances or not. He won't, so, without full credits, they won't be able to progress to the next year. And there's no repeating in Beacon. And normally, not even the most difficult mission in the final exam would give a team so many credits as to make up for half a year of school. But there's nothing in the rules that Glinda said. Glinda then got a call on her scroll. James. Sorry Violet, I got to take this Glinda said. Oh, 
Go right ahead Peach said. Please, please, please tell me he just wants to ask her out on a date Peach thought. It. What? How? How do you know Glinda asked? Oh, damn it Peach thought. Sure, more about that I. What do you mean you'll take another entrance? Violet, I got to go Glinda said. Do you really have to? I'm sure it's not that Peach said. James, don't do anything. Is that wind? James Glinda yelled. Students, I hope you're done because if you aren't Peach thought. In Ozpin's tower, Ian would have jumped through the clock window from a shuttle, with Enrico. James, for the love of science, slow down. I can't believe we just jumped through a window from one of the shuttles. What the hell is going on, here Enrico asked. I don't know yet, exactly. But it's a matter of life and death for Remnant Ironwood said. A uh, what Enrico asked. Curses. Why won't this elevator go faster Ironwood asked. How can a single girl, no matter how powerful, be this important Enrico thought. Bella's aura was fully drained, and she fell to the ground. Bella David called out. It's done Bella said. You mean Jack said. Those. Those voices. Who are they a person thought. It's. It's incredible. Amber's vitals are stable. Bella, you did it Penny said. I promised Bella said. Amber. That name sounds familiar they thought. Bella, you did. Bella David asked. She's passed out. She must be exhausted Deku said. We need to hurry. Let's place Amber back in the machine Penny said. Yes. Amber is the person thought. Amber is me. Amber is my name Amber thought. The elevator Jack yelled. They are coming. We're trapped David panicked. Amber is safely secured. But I don't detect any other exists or a suitable hiding place Penny said. I can use Black Whip to latch onto the ceiling and cover us in it and hope they don't see us in the dark Deku said. I'm Amber. And those voices, there. There Amber thought. Amber began to cry. There. They're my friends. They came for me. And now they're in danger. They. They need my help. An exit, how can I find? Wait. Wait, I know about an exit. It's. It's all coming back to me Amber thought. It'll have to do. There's no way we're fighting our way out of this Jack said. All right, it's going to be Deku said. The left corridor Amber said. Amber David questioned. Amber, thank goodness. It really worked Penny said. It did, but there's no time now. Get to the wall at the far end of the corridor, hurry Amber said. They did as Amber said. The wall appeared to not exist. This. Amber, how did you Jack asked. Later. It won't stay open long. Vamus Amber said. They quickly went through the wall just before then elevator doors opened. James, there's. There's no one here Enrico said. So it would seem Ironwood said. James. Now that we seem to have a moment of peace, will you please start explaining what in Tarnation is going on? What is this place and? Is. Is that a person, in there? And I think I recognize the design of that machine Enrico said. If you could please check on her vitals and the state of the machine, Enrico. I was instructed on it but you're certainly more familiar with its workings. Then. You'll have your explanation Ironwood said. After stepping through the wall, the infiltration team were now in the ballroom. Oh my gods, I can't believe we got out of there David said. Amber, how did you know about that secret passage Deku asked. Long story. Suffice to say though, Ospin doesn't know about it and would have also made the perfect secret entrance. 
If only my condition hadn't made me so scatterbrained, you could have planned this earlier and much safer. I'm sorry Amber said. Hey, now. None of that talk. What's important is that you're back. You're safe David said. Well, technically my body is still trapped down there. But I'm no longer slowly slipping into the cold abyss of death, and I can soul project again, which make me not defenseless. I'd say it's two steps forward and some Amber said. The four were surprised. Um, oh my, those faces. Is something wrong with my projection? Maybe my skin tone is off Amber asked. No. You look positively healthy. It's just that your speech is much more focused Penny said. Oh, that. Ahem, quite. This is actually my default way of talking, it's just I was. Incomplete, before. My soul projection didn't project. All of my mind and memories Amber said. Your memories. You mean Deku asked. Yes. But there will be time for that later. Now you should go Amber said. You're. Using the second person. What about you Penny asked. I believe it's high time me and the headmaster had some words. So I'm going to wait Amber said. Amber then left. All right. Let's do as she said and bring Bella to our dorm room. Then, the moment she's recovered enough to walk, we need to bring her back to Vale Jack said. Roger that. And we should also advise the others David said. It was now late in the afternoon. Thanks for walking me to the station, Janera Ospin said. Thanks for buying me more shaved ice. And for everything else. It was fun Janera said. Yes. Yes, it was Ospin said. And you're much, much nicer than what I thought you'd be Janera said. You thought I wouldn't be nice Ospin asked. Thank gods it's over, this was about to give me diabetes. And it went on for so long after we got the confirmation text Evelyn said. Oh, such. Anyway, Ospin is good with kids, isn't he Titania said. Yeah, and not in his usual way. Like, he feels less like a mentor and more like a Evelyn said. A father, yes Thilla said. Yeah, to be honest. All I heard of you made me think you wouldn't be nice at all. But I guess I was wrong, wasn't Janera said. The top of the shaved ice started to fall to the ground. Oh, no. That's the most syrupy part Janera said. The next thing Janera knew, the shaved ice was back in the bowl. How what Janera said. I should go, Janera. And regarding what we were saying earlier. There. Are things about me that would paint me as not nice to many, yes. But I think you're mature enough to understand that. Sometimes, to do the right thing. You have to be not nice Ospin said. Yes. I understand that Janera said. Ospin then left. Janera, are you alright Titania asked. Yes, I'm fine, big sis Janera said. Alright, cool. Do you have any idea what the hell happened? One moment your shaved ice was plummeting and the next Titania asked. I have no idea, but. Maybe it's that semblance thing Janera suggested. Night had now fallen and Professor Peach had come to Team JPDDE's room. Students, I'm way too young and fit to have a heart attack. What the hell happened down there? Did you make a mistake Peach asked? Not really. Everything went according to plan but we had no way to foresee something like a silent alarm connected directly to General Ironwood's scroll Penny said. I can't believe Ospin would allow a system that connects into the network when he doesn't even have security cameras down there Jack said. Well, maybe he didn't Evelyn questioned. Yes, that makes complete sense, Ospin would never allow a system like that Deku said. You mean that General Ion would put this system in the machine without Ospin knowing about it Penny asked. Most likely. He may not understand the network, but he knows it has its vulnerabilities David said. Vulnerabilities he can't personally account for. 
so, no surveillance. But the general obviously disagreed Evelyn said. Yes, General Ironwood definitely has quite the strong personality. Especially for something so important, I doubt he would comply with less options just because Ospin didn't trust it Peach said. I wonder if the headmaster was aware of the general's feelings Penny said. Towards him, you mean? Who knows Jack said. Up in Ospin's office. You had no right, James Ospin said. You cannot be serious. You should be thanking me right now, Ospin. If it weren't for that technology, you mistrust so much, we wouldn't even have known someone had entered the vault and operated on the machine Ironwood said. And if it weren't for that technology, they wouldn't have gotten inside to begin with Ospin said. Excuse me Ironwood asked. They didn't force their way inside, James. The elevator operated normally. Someone cracked the password system your subordinates designed Ospin said. But. That's impossible. It would take Ironwood said. A genius, I imagine. Because no one in Atlas with that kind of skill ever defected to her side, did they Ospin asked. If I may, Headmaster. Unless you would have liked to climb up and down a hole every time you needed to get to a secret vault buried meters underground, a certain level of technology is expected. And despite what happened, a randomly generated code still remains the safest access deterrent. Even biometrics aren't as safe, since they can be replicated with certain semblances. Or acquired Enrico said. Professor Polendina, anything you may learn from us needs to remain a secret Ospin said. Headmaster Ospin, what to do with acquired knowledge is not something that I will let any man or organization dictate for me. Unless you have a very good argument for that Enrico said. All right, that's quite enough. The most important matter at hand, right now, is Amber. How is she? What happened Glinda asked. Nothing short of a miracle, Miss Goodwitch. At least according to her last readings before the capsule was open and the newest ones Enrico said. What do you mean Glinda asked? I mean that all of the damage done to her aura structure and body has been healed Enrico said. Jeez. Healed. But at the state she was in Ironwood said. Yes, there's no semblance, medicine or operation I know that could have done this. But the proof is downstairs, unconsciously floating in a capsule. Miss Amber gets a clean bill of health for me, and I believe that once the damage to her soul is fixed, she will wake up Enrico said. They snuck in the vault to heal Amber Glinda asked. Why would they Ospin asked? Indeed, a mystery a fifth voice said. Amber then appeared before them. But as of right now, I can't bring myself to care Amber said. Amber Ospin asked. Lady Amber to you. Headmaster Ospin. You, of all people are not allowed to address me by my first name Amber said. This is soul projection. I didn't know it was possible for a comatose state Ospin said. That makes it two of us, then. Still quite the fortuitous circumstance Amber said. I won't have to wait until I'm back on my feet to throw my contempt at yours Amber said. Contempt. You can't possibly be blaming us for what happened to you Ospin said. We tried to protect you, Amber. The only reason you're still here is because Croglinda said. Don't be ridiculous. I obviously don't. It was my decision to leave the sanctuary, knowing of the dangers. As such, the responsibility of anything that transpired falls on my shoulders alone. What I would like to know is, why am I still alive Amber asked. James. Seriously, who is this young woman Enrico asked. Ironwood stayed silent. Amber, what? What are you saying Glinda asked. A particularly logically challenged monkey could understand you have no idea how I was healed, which implies you didn't know how to earlier, either. So. I.D. all that awaited me was weeks of agony, wasting away in a tube like a rotten vegetable in brine, why wasn't I given an honorable death and a proper burial? Was my family even told what has transpired Amber asked? You must understand. 
Lady Amber, that there are bigger things at stake here than just your life, or your honor as Pin said. Your death would have caused what was left of your power to transfer to your attacker. And that would have shifted the balance in favor of the enemy Glinda said. Explain Amber said. She. The enemy already has two maidens on her side Glinda said. You. Mean that spring and summer Amber asked. This is an unprecedented situation, which takes unprecedented actions to be taken. I'm sorry we couldn't offer you the proper respect, but the survival of the world takes precedence over your funeral rites Ospin said. What a crock of shit. Unprecedent. You call this unprecedent. Hiding, biding your time, turtling. This is the same old that drove me to flee your care. Something unprecedented would have been retaliating. Hunting. Find the broad who hurt me and her two cronies and revive Strapadu on their skins Amber said. All out war is not an option as Pin said. Because it could actually yield results. My great great grandfather didn't win a war by biding for time infinitely, he did it by laying waste to an army Amber said. And how many lives were lost because of it as Pin asked. How many would have been lost if the war had continued Amber said. I'm not here to argue ethics of war with you Ospin said. Right, right. The unquestionable headmaster Ospin. Worry not, for Amber Talia Vaili Zanes the fourth prefers actions to empty words. I will fight your war for you. Starting with the viper hiding under your nose in your own school Amber said. Amber then left. She. She said Glinda said. The enemy is in beacon, Ospin. And now we're probably set to have a magic duel in your school. I agree with you about the importance of secrecy, Ospin. But don't you think it is unwise to not use everything at our disposal? To protect the innocent form this madness Ian would asked. To. To protect the innocent. What do you suggest, James Ospin asked. Penny, my dear. You are definitely involved with some peculiar characters Enrico thought. Down in the vault. That. Was. So liberating. Their faces and reactions, and the verbal joust. After months spent as a barely half-functioning mess, that was catharsis. Now, though, I should, gather some magic and. Think about how I'm going to explain everything to them. So much to tell. So little time Amber said. End of chapter 60